Hello preparedness people and welcome or welcome back to The Bigs Prep. My name is Cynthia and today we're doing the wrap up for the live video Saturday, October 22nd. Last night we talked about paranoia versus prepared. That's my mother-in-law in the background, Mr. Biggs mom, the original Mrs. Biggs. Hi! <laughs> so if you're ready, press the like button and let's do this. We had some really great people and some really great channels up in the chat last night. We talked about paranoia versus preparedness. Paranoia is coming from a place of fear. We're, you know, hoarding things, clearing shelves, buying things we don't need. We're panicked and we have no idea kind of what we're doing when it comes to preparedness. Whereas prepared, um, we talked about how prepared people are gonna say, you know, I use two rolls of toilet paper per week in my family. I've noticed this, I've watched it, I've tracked it. This is how we do it. So in order to have six months supply of toilet paper, I'm gonna need 52 rolls. So they go ahead and stock up now, maybe use a coupon, get a sale, and stock up while there's still plenty on the shelf. Should there become a shortage of toilet paper in their area, they get to stay home. They get to um, relax. We talked about how, um, in, during the uh, great toilet paper shortage of 2020, um, I actually had one of the clients say that she was looking for toilet paper for her brother who was uh, mentally disadvantaged. And um, I was able to meet her in the parking lot and give her exactly what she needed, which was a great relief to her because she, she actually cried because she couldn't find any. And we have more than enough for a year and always have for about the last, I don't know, five or six years. It's just stacked up and I didn't need to go out and I actually had some to share. There were some great comments in the chat about people sharing uh, their preps and how you know they're preparing for others as well as themselves. We did a survey on the community channel where um, we asked what you're preparing for. Was it, you know, full on SHTF, is it actually just a job loss or a weather event? There's some great comments on that post on the community post. Every week I do a survey Thursday, so go ahead and check out the community post if you get a chance because it's a great place to get in and get with some other like-minded people. I learned so much from the comments at the greatest community. I'm gonna be putting together this Great Depression snickerdoodle crazy cake for Mr. B's breakfast next week while we chat. This is one of his favorite recipes. And if you haven't seen the video I did over on my other channel, The Big's Homestead Kitchen, where I did a full tutorial on this one. Here's a close up of the recipe. If you'd like to do a screenshot, I'll give you a few seconds of that. Ooh, tater. And then there's the bag. That was pretty much it. And then we did win of the week. You blessed me with 39 different comments about wins of the week just on the YouTube community post alone. A Quiet and Orderly Life, if you haven't checked out her channel, go do it because her channel is amazing. They got the rest of the stuff out of my garden and the herbs are already freeze dried. And then Double D, Dawn, if you haven't checked out her channel, go do it. Dawn canned 20 jars of jelly and she made a video about it and it made cheese for the first time. She made a video about that too. Lynn Stalker got a good price on apples at Aldi's and made applesauce for the freezer and some for Thanksgiving. She also won Orlando Prepper's live giveaway of a ham radio. Next up, Mama T defrosted my whole freezer and inventoried it. I got a weekly menu so I can use everything up. Allison Sanders canned four quarts of fajita meat. She canned potatoes, prepped her garden beds for winter. Heather Nicole, finally a free woman. Heather, good for you. Her divorce is final and now she can focus on her children. Michelle Moon got a new mattress installed, pantry completely put away on new shelves and mostly organized. Michelle Flo was able to get season packets for chili and tacos for 33 cents each. She also found canned green beans for three for 99 cents. Oh, oh sand crane, you're going crazy. Alicia Bray cleared out freezer space by dehydrating a bunch of her frozen vegetables. Rita Hunter got her garlic and strawberries planted. Well done, Rita. 
The Banks Homestead apples that she got from the apple orchard never made it to become applesauce because they were so good she ate them all off to the orchard again, which what a terrible problem to have. Azure Morgana refilled her Chinese pickle jar with more carrots. Melissa Richardson, first of her hand surgeries was successful and not very painful, so that's a blessing. Mary Price, I got all my preps organized now. Pulled out the Mr. Buddy heater and double checked, got plastic on the windows, well done. Rita Bullock Jarrett, Rita Bullock Jarrett, interviewed and accepted a brand new job. That's more income, that's fantastic. Seven, 736 Fox Run, bought butter on sale, made and canned ghee. Amy Shanlin got another e-coupon for her milk. She's been racking up those e-coupons, and that's part of getting your house in order is stocking up and using those coupons. Megan Donahue fixed her friend's toilet using a YouTube video. Megan, you are my hero. She saved $200. Well done. Cheryl picked wild grapes and passion fruits. Gonna make jam. Wow. I'll be right over. Katie Trapnell went thrifting and got her 10 year old her Halloween costume for almost no money. Very good. Tamara Ewald canned stew meat, meatballs, and potatoes. You've been a busy woman. Tammy Hughes took a vacation day for herself and got some me time in. So important to protect ourselves spiritually and mentally right now because the world's just so crazy. Glenn Anderson. Hi, Glenn. Glenn cut up and got out all of his Amazon boxes. And let me tell you what, I know for a fact that that is quite a feat. And then Uncle Al shared a dinner with some neighbors and he made a little short about it, which I went over and watched. It was really great. We had three wins this past week at the Biggs household. We fixed my son's finger and saved hundreds in medical expenses. I got some hamburger out of the freezer and got that all canned up. And Tater went to the vet, he got fixed, he got his shots, and I got six months of his medication for flea and heartworm. Also, Fake Person is asking for, the channel Fake Person is also asking for prayers. They have a medical procedure coming up on November 22nd, so they will be in my thoughts as well. Thank you all so, so much for giving me those wins of the week. They're very encouraging. Everyone in the chat last night had amazing wins. My heart goes out to USMC this week because their son is getting a heart transplant at Shands. He's 30 and this is a big surgery for him. So they're really accepting prayers and I will be in prayer for your son as well this week. I wanna say thank you so much for the super chats. We had super chats galore last night. We have enough to send a box. We have enough to fill a box. I am so excited for the troops over in Europe right now because they're gonna get a box you this week so thanks to you. you so yes, thank you so, so much for watching. And remember everybody, I'd rather be a year early than a day late.